G'day you bloody legends. Welcome back to another episode. Today we're heading offshore on my mate Ben's boat. Absolute legend, I just met at the boat ramp. This is first, second time, sorry, we're meeting. And he's uh, invited me out on his uh, his rig. Bit of an upgrade to the jet ski. So today we're gonna go out chasing some dolphin fish, uh, some possibly some marlin, and I've heard the Spanish mackerel are on the chew. So fingers crossed, either one of those fish i've never caught before so could be a really good day well it will be a really good day regardless so let's rip in baby you So we've just pulled up. We're not too far offshore from straight out from the spit. We pulled up, we're gonna chuck out a trawling lure and uh, see if we can stir up some Spanish mackerel on the way to the bait grounds. Absolute cracker of a day. Hey Ben. Hey man. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go, there's the Spanish. All right, got the brand new rig combo, six and a half thousand pen slammer, matched with the Spheros Shimano. 10 to 15 kilo, literally the first cast. Hopefully we can uh, break her in today and uh, get some big fish, think some hooks. Okay, we got the bait jig rigged up. We're just at the bait grounds trying to get some liveies. So far, we've only gotten one. Good to go. All right, here we go, another, oh. And what I'll have to do. I'll be the, the hook pitch. <laughs> oh, that's a, uh, what is is that a herring? Yeah, herring. Oh, there you go. Two I on, we didn't even know. Okay, so that's the fat over there big yellow marker we're just gonna pull up on it and uh, drop these pillies We've got a double rig here swivel at the top whatever pound leader probably about 60 pounds something like that two I think they're circles uh, size 7 circle hooks and uh, just a whole pilly all right just in case you missed it before through the head hard part out of the mouth Back. Okay, so the other boat's just hooked up to a dolly. Ben's just seen a flash on the last trip. So we're very, very close. Could be on. Could be on for the first dolphin fish. In my life, dream fish of mine, I've always wanted to catch. You've got amazing colours, so vibrant, and uh, apparently really, really good eating. So I'm starting to get pretty excited. All right, no luck at this fad, unfortunately. We're gonna book it out to the next one and uh, hopefully our luck turns around. All right, we just pulled up to mark number two. One of these other fads, I don't know what number it is, but uh, two out of the three boats here are already hooked up, so I'm not gonna waste any time. They're jumping everywhere. Let's go. Oh, look at that big one, he's huge. Is that they've got? Yeah. Big bull. Try and throw a live one. Yeah? Yeah, you throw a live one. Alright. I don't care if I don't catch one here. I'm in. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. We own. Yeah. Yee -hee -hee. Just let him fight. It's only oh, a little yeah. one. I think he shook me. Hey. Oh, no. No, no, you're still on. Look at him go! <laughs> Yee -hoo! It's only a little one, but decent nonetheless. Alright, do I gap him? He's pretty small, way. Eh? Yeah. I mean, it'd be 50, but... I don't know if you guys can see that on the GoPro, but the colours on these things are absolutely phenomenal. 
I'm gonna do the same line again. <laughs> See ya, mate. It comes along. <laughs> Oi. Oi. Oh. Yeah, here we go. He's coming in. You bloody ripper. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Out, uh, because they love to flick, yeah, and that takes all their flicks. So, take okay, them all yeah. what have we got? Exactly 71. Called it. You called it <laughs> beautiful fish. As they die, you see their colors disappear. It's kind of sad, but it is what it is. All right, lovely. How bloody good! First dolly, thanks, awesome. man. No worries, mate. <laughs> Yes! Oh man, I'm stoked with that. Guys, how bloody good. Oh, yeah, Ben's on. Let's go. Oh yeah, big aerial. Probably a similar size, maybe a little bit bigger. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Have a go at it. <laughs> oh, he is wilding out. Hey. Oh, Let's go. Me. Let's go. <laughs> so mine was 71. Uh, you got me. Oh, 73. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> I called it. <laughs> <laughs> Yours are full, mine are tail. Okay, lovely. But good job, mate. Well done. Yeah, good. Yeah, that's awesome. Let's get another. One each, yeah. Preferably one a bigger all. one than that. One all. One all. <laughs> oh, that's right. You did. Yeah. I think you might have. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're on. You're on. You! You called for one. I'll get mine out of the way. Oh, he's taking us for a run. Oh, he's much bigger too. Let's go. Oh, there we go, baby. Break that pen in. Oh, is there any better feeling? I'm going to have to give him some... Oh, no, still on, still on. Tighten up that drag just a little bit. Keep him away from that fad. All right, this is a better fish. This is a much better fish. What do you call it? 79, oh. 80? Yeah, I'm going 80, maybe 83. Oh, listen to that baby sing. Pretty high. Yeah, really, really cool. All right. Yes, that's about a fish. Oh, 84! Hey, that's 84 and a half. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to the Messing around on the camera, Ben scored another little fish, so time to get back out in the water, I reckon. There was a few big ones, so hopefully we can snap up a bull. All right, so that's enough fun with the dolphin fish. Uh, that spot got pretty crowded, so what we've done now, we've rigged up the outriggers, and we've got all these little skirts on, on our rods, and we're gonna have a troll. We've got five reels and rods hooked up, and uh, we're gonna aim for a marlin, baby, so, Ben says he hasn't got a marlin on this boat yet and I certainly haven't caught one of those before. This is all new to me, this style of fishing, so... Lovely. So that's five rods rigged up. This one's the shotgun. This is the long outrigger, short outrigger. Uh, long corner, short corner. Hey. 
All right, here we go. Got it. Ben's on. Trolling for what? 20 minutes? Yeah, yeah, not long at all, actually. Protocol, get all the other rod, rods in before you start reeling in. I right, set the hooks on the uh, the one that you've hooked up on. Here we go. All right. There we go. <laughs> Definitely no marlin, but uh, we'll take it. It's a win. It is a win. <laughs> Yee we are on, baby. Pretty sure it's a big dolly. But it might not be big. The dolly should have been in its cellar. What is he? It might be a maybe mackerel. a maybe a tuna. Ah, that's a big mackerel, man. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're kidding. Just uh, put it in a little bit more faster. Oh yeah. Okay, out of gear, please. Okay. This is a lot bigger. Oh. oh. I it's think a, it's a, a tuna. Marlin. I don't know. It could be a I thought I could see some yellow. Yeah, he's got a big blue, blue pattern on him. It is, isn't it? Yeah. What's he doing weighing in here? Hey, he's pretty shallow. We're only in about 50 metres, 42 metres of water. Have we been dragging him that long? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got to gap him or you want to net him? Ah, uh, gap. Oh. There we go. There we go. Oh, that is a beauty. Put the safety cocks on here. Go to bend. Hold him up, mate. Have a go at that bad boy. You bloody ripper. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Meter 11. Meter 12. You beauty. All right. Yeah, bloody good. All right. Successful day, you'd have to say. <laughs> Few good dollies. Yes, mine's bigger than yours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, this is my first, you know. You don't want to go too big for your first. That's what they say. <laughs> so, anyway, I can't wait to taste these things. They look so tropical. Everyone keeps telling me they're so delicious. And, uh, We've got a bit of a filleting job ahead of us, so thanks to Dan Mahe for taking us out on the boat. Too easy, mate. Appreciate Anytime. it. Anytime. Bloody great success. You earned your spot. <laughs> thanks, thanks. Yeah, it's a good day. And I didn't bomb it. That's always a good thing. All righty, we're back at my place now. I'm going to fill it up these dolphin fish. Um, obviously, first time I've ever caught them, so I'm not going to act like a pro and tell you guys how to do it all and that. I'm just going to give it a red hot crack and then. Um, gonna do some sort of recipe i haven't figured it out just yet but yeah i've heard it's really good eating so we're gonna cook up something special for you guys and uh let you know how it tastes Like I said, I've never caught this fish before. A couple of little tips that I will give you is there's a lot of meat in the head here. So what you want to do is you want to feel around that hard part of the skull, cut around it, um, and then just note here that the spine is actually quite risen. So don't be just trying to run your blade along it flat because you're going to miss like, you know, nearly a centimetre worth of meat either side. So anyway, that's probably the best one that I got. Beautiful healthy white meat have a go of that i can't wait to taste it. it smells really clean really fresh so there you go if you want to know how to fill it properly probably go to another youtube video 
Uh, I might even put a link to one right here. I'll show you exactly how to do it. Right, they're all bagged up. None of it's going to waste either. We got the carcasses and the guts and stuff. They're gonna go into the crab pots. I'm heading out on Saturday, so a couple of little care packages for some lucky friends. And um, obviously some for myself. Alrighty guys, we're just down at the beach doing this cook up. Tropical fish, tropical recipe. Today we're cooking pineapple salsa fish tacos down by the beach. Got the pineapple salsa down here, and that consists of red onion, capsicum, pineapple, bit of lime juice, sweet chili mayo, and usually contains some uh, coriander, but this big dum-dum left it at home. So other than that, we've got the fish diced up, crumbed, ready to rumble, the tortillas and the cheese, and that's it. So pan's getting hot, the sunset is about to cook in the background, so let's rip in. Phew. Okay, going to drop this first one in. Come have a look at this. See that smoking? Oh, how bloody good is that? A couple of little pink ones. A couple of little pink ones poking through there. How can you tell the fish is cooked? It looks cooked. <laughs> <laughs> Taste test. Oh! These are gonna be so good. <laughs> you guys are in for a treat. Here you go, bro. You want a taste test? Oh, yum. Oh, yeah, boy. Yeah. Mm. Finger looking good. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like we're in for like a really nice sunset. Um, the only thing is, I'm running out of light, so while the rest of that fish cooks, I'm going to get a taco in me and uh, we'll taste test this bad boy, eh? First things first, a bit of cheese. Next we're going to go slab of fish. Lastly, some of this salsa. How bloody good is that? Alright, cheers. Mmm, so fresh. I mean, controversial opinion. Coriander and pineapple. I mean, I don't have any coriander in there, but I really like those two ingredients. And if you like that tropical flavor, this is a really good recipe to try. So super simple. Check it out, guys. I'm gonna devour the rest of this, but I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. It's what drives me. I love making these videos. So if you want to see more, please hit like, please hit subscribe, hit the description for the social links, and uh, yeah, rip in. Are you gonna share or what? <laughs>